Hey YouTubers, it's Chris here from Excellent Style Replicas. Uh, my next project I'm going to be working on is uh, the Chamber of Horrors Guillotine by Polar Lights. Uh, just do a bit of an unboxing for you. This one here is the uh, Flow in the Dark version. It comes with optional parts for uh, for the, the uh, what do you call it? The human figure. In, do it normally or the whole the whole thing goes in the dark where you just paint areas you don't want to glow in the dark. I'll just show you the box out a bit there. Show you the back. Get away from the glare. There you go. Looks like a cool kit. Uh, it has magnets in the magnets. <laughs> magnets in the in the head and the, in the neck area so when the blade comes down it chops his head off so pretty cool um, it should be a quick build and yeah, a lot of fun so hopefully maybe well for you guys it probably put all up in one video but it probably take about a couple of weeks um, yeah alright I'll uh, open it up well, I'll try to open it up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, it wants to be stubborn. There we go. Now I've already cut open the, the plastics this time. Make it easier. Alright, uh, the first baggie, we've got uh, the figure. Which, like I said, one of them is the glow in the dark sprue, and one of them just standard sprue. And that, uh, yeah, so it's good that they give you the option in case you don't want to have a glow in the dark. Or, or Let me open that up. Um, and his head just fell off, <laughs> which is funny. It's a little bit premature, buddy. Back of his head, anyway. Uh, looks like it's pretty, pretty decently sculpted. I like that. I mean, his head probably is a bit. I mean, the eye sockets are a bit crap, but I, th I guess it's supposed to be have his eyes closed. Yeah. Uh, and I assume this is exactly the same, just different plastic. Yeah. All right. So that's that. So you have the option of choosing what you want. I probably won't do a glow in the dark, I might save it for something else. Maybe use the head on another diorama or something, glow in the dark. But anyway, there's that. Um, and here's the others. Um, bag of sprue. And we've got the base. And here's the, whatever you call those things. The stains, I'm so, I don't know. <laughs> a frame. Got that, and there's what that sits on. Obviously, that goes on the base, and those sit up. Yeah, I'm not the best reviewer in the world, but I thought I'd <laughs> show you what's going on in these kits since they're not as popular. Uh, there's your, the basket, and that's that's the bottom of the basket. I get you've got some pulleys there. Uh, there's the blade. Pretty decent, not much flash, and uh, there's the rest of it. There's the nameplate for it near the frame, the stock. I guess they're part of the pulley system there. But yeah, as you can see, fairly simple. There's the instructions, it's got a bit of information here about how it came about, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, one thing I didn't know is they used to use a technique called uh, quartering, where they'd tie up the, the limbs and, uh, you know, have them <laughs> going in different directions and rip them off, basically. And the, the wealthy people could, uh, could pay to get their head chopped off with a blade. 
and yeah, it's my battery running low, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, basically they, they devised a system where they thought, well, you know, it shouldn't matter if you're rich or poor, everyone should die the same way. So that's how they sort of brought this in, and they, they saw it as uh, being a humane, humane way of dying, if you can believe that. But anyway, as you can see, the instructions are fairly straightforward, if you can see them. pretty much put the whole thing together and paint it up. I'll show you some of the other stuff they got there. The usual thing. Some assembly instruct uh, general assembly instructions there. And they give you the string or rope and the magnets are there. And the usual stuff around here gives you the classics reborn book sign up and be heard card yeah they might hear you but they won't reply to you um, <clears throat> and that's it so this will be the one I'm working on next I'll start assembling or cleaning up and assembling and then um, yeah I'll uh, update you on what's going on see you soon alright guys I'm back um, unfortunately the uh, video before this one uh, didn't come out for some reason. It just uh, it disappeared. Um, so basically, we are going from the unboxing to the completed build. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's not much to the kit anyway. It's fairly simple. Um, I'll just take you around. I started with the base. Uh, we've got just painted it black and then dry brushed it with um, sort of a a darker grey and then a, um, a lighter grey just to give it sort of a, a steel irony look. Uh, same with the, the nameplate there, if I can focus on it. Um, that was basically black and then dry brushed with a, um, oh, it's called bolt gun metal, it's called a metallic, metallic metal, uh, metallic uh, grey colour. Gun metal grey sort of thing. Uh, we have the basket, which uh, just started out as a dark brown and then progressively lighter, lighter browns and uh, dry brushed over it and then uh, with a, a brown wash. Fairly simple. The uh, structure itself um, is, again, just different tones of brown. Uh, dry brushed over it and I sort of made it uh, I'll sort of give it a bit of a texture I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here anyway but no, you might be able to there just because it's just flat plastic and uh, I wanted to make it look a bit like wood so as I dry brushed I sort of stippled it as well and just to give it a bit of a uh, bit of texture on the surface <coughs> excuse me um, the figure is uh, all hand painted. I didn't airbrush this one this time. Um, and it's fairly basic. I mean, nothing to it really. Just blue shirt, brown pants, <laughs> skin tones, black shoes, or brown shoes. Um, the head of it is magne magnetic. Excuse me. And I just painted the inside of it to look like it's chopped off, I guess, and got some blood in there and, and up on the blade here as well. Uh, it kind of looked like dry blood. I was thinking I might make it, a, you know, sort of parts of it and you know, paint them glossy just to give it a sort of a wet blood look, but I don't know, I'm still debating that. Um, it's supposed to be a working model, but the problem is the magnetics on this are very strong. Magnetics, <laughs> the magnets that they give you are very strong, and um, these two parts here were warped, so the blade doesn't run smoothly down. Well, I think enough to to get enough uh, what do you call it momentum to to part his uh, his head from his neck. Um, 
it has worked once, I think, but I don't know. Not very good. But I'm not going to be playing with it, so I don't really care. It just looks cool. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've got the flu at the moment, so I have to excuse the uh, the coughing and the sniffling. Um, the top area, I forgot what that's called. <laughs> the blade, uh, blade something. Blade moverer. Um, I just painted it in the same metallic colours as I did on the nameplate. Um, the side here, that's supposed to be the uh, thing that holds the blade in place. We're supposed to have a rope on it, but I mean, it doesn't really work anyway, so I sort of left it off. I might actually just glue that rope on just for looks because it's not like it's going to be used. But anyway, um, I'll try to show this working. I'll uh, set the camera up and give you a zoomed in look, I think it might be easier. Uh, basically just unwind that wire and release it and the, the blade will come uh, thundering down all so slowly. Not enough to sever his head. Anyway, um, but yeah, I just wanted to finish this build off uh, and let you guys see it. It was really quick, I probably, I don't know, maybe it took me a week or something. I just haven't up uploaded the video for a while. Uh, but yeah, I mean, next up I'm going to be doing the, uh, well, I'm going to finish off the Stooges and, and I've got the, uh, the Iron Man War Machine, which, uh, which I've started on, but I haven't put any videos yet, so I'll put those up soon. Uh, I'll put a slideshow on the end of this and, uh, and I'll give you a look at uh, how it works and, uh, and yeah, I'll be back in a second. Um... We lower the guy down, slide him in, release the stock around his head, neck, <laughs> and then we're supposed to release the blade, but we'll see what happens. suspected the magnets are too strong and they will not top him off there we go <laughs> and that's how they did it in the old days when it didn't chop off some big finger whacked him in the back of the head yeah anyway yeah so I mean it's not like I'm gonna be using it it's just cool to sit on the shelf so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Alright, I'll see you later.